Hi everyone, it's Evangeline here at eTrailer and today we'll be taking a look at the Kelty Outdoor Blanket. This is the Kelty Corduroy Blanket. So it's actually Christmas time here at eTrailer and it's a little bit cold. I've been shooting different videos here and I like to use blankets. I like to set up the car camping, truck camping areas with blankets and quilts. So I'm really curious to see how our corduroy blanket will hold up to our different shoots. We have different blankets here. We have the Kelty Bestie Blanket. This is the normal blanket with the sleeping bag material on one side and the soft brush fabric on the other side. I also have my quilt, which I use all the time for different things. And then we're gonna compare them to our corduroy blanket later in this video. So check out our different specs, different measurements, and then watch out for that comparison. So first impression is that this is actually a really big blanket. We have this inside of our teardrop camper. It takes up pretty much all the mattress space to one side, and this can fit two people. So for the length, it's gonna be six feet and four inches long, and then it's gonna be five feet and six inches wide. So there's two sides to this blanket. The top is gonna to have this corduroy as well as this polyester canvas. So it feels like a strong, durable blanket. Not as soft as our other blankets here, but definitely something you would wanna use if you're sitting on the ground, you're at an outdoor event, and you wanna make sure there's durability and sturdiness to the blanket that you're sitting on. Underneath, we have a soft plush fabric. So this is gonna be your comfort side. If you're sleeping on this or underneath this, you're gonna want this fabric touching your skin just because it feels comfortable and relaxing. This isn't just two pieces of fabric sewn together. You can feel that there's some synthetic insulation on the inside. So this keeps it lightweight compared to a quilt of the same size, but also cozy compared to just a piece of fabric. So that will hopefully help you stay warm at night. Just make sure to utilize that insulation. I really like how everything's sewn together. We even have some insulation here on our hem and you can see how that hem is folded in. So I don't see any signs of fraying or wear and tear. Def definitely high quality and durable stitching all around. In the corner of your blanket, you're gonna see this pocket. So you see your logo, you see these hooks. That's gonna be where you roll up your blanket and then secure the straps. And when you're using the blanket, the straps just tuck away into that pocket, nice and neat. I really like the design choices they made with this blanket, especially the color. So the top is going to be a burnt orange, including that corduroy, which is a different shade of orange, but still good. Notice how this goes on top of your fabric though, so it adds to that design as well as that practicality. And then on the inside, you have this triangle design. So everything works well with each other and it feels good too. So here we have it all rolled up. I like this style. I do prefer stuff sacks for some of our blankets, but this also makes sense. This is a roll up design with your buckles on one side to cinch it down. You also have a carry handle over here and you have access to the pocket in the blanket. So everything works together. So sometimes I like to put it on the bottom of my backpack, but most people like to put it on the top. Just find a, whatever space is good for you. And just like that, we're now ready to go. All right, now let's do a comparison. So underneath my quilt, it takes some time for my quilt to warm up, especially since I don't have as much insulation in this one. It's a very thin scrap quilt. I really like the design. I like how I get to choose the design when I make the quilt, but it's heavy, even though this is a small quilt without as much insulation, it's still heavier than our corduroy blanket. Another thing about quilts is it's a little bit harder to store since you have to make sure you fold it the right way and then you don't have those convenient carry handles that the corduroy blanket does. Now I do like the stuff sack though, so let's take a look at that next. So this is the Kelty Bestie blanket. Definitely preferred if you want something compact and portable because it fits into this stuff sack just like a sleeping bag would. And then when you're ready to use this, it's suddenly a blanket with nice both sides. Now this isn't as durable as the corduroy blanket though because you have this sleeping bag material, probably gonna be easier to wash and it's a lot more lightweight, but then it's just for different purposes. And here we have our corduroy blanket. So definitely heavier than the bestie blanket, 
but it also feels a lot more durable and it's still going to be easier to wash than an entire quilt so you have your different pros you have your different cons i think i would go with the corduroy blanket if i want something that lasts a little bit longer and i want a really big blanket now this does fold up or roll up to a convenient carrying blanket so not as portable as the bestie blanket but easier to use than the quilt and that was a look right here at our Kelty Outdoor Blanket, the Corduroy Edition, right here at E-Trailer. My name is Evangeline, and I hope you enjoyed the journey.